Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost maths video on similar shapes. Now what similar shapes are, are shapes that are the same shape, but they could possibly be different sizes. So we can see with these two triangles here, the angles are all the same. So it's going to be the same overall shape, but this one is bigger than this because you can see the six is larger than the four. And the key principle with similar shapes is that all the lengths will scale in the same proportion. So the four to six, for example, can we see that sort of 50% larger here? That means all the other lengths will also be 50% larger. So let's use this principle to uh, solve these particular questions. So with question one, um, there's two different ways to do it. One way is to just identify what that scale factor is, as I sort of mentioned. So how many times bigger are the lengths here than the lengths here? So I'm gonna use SF for scale factor. The scale factor of length is equal to, and we can just divide those two numbers. If we do six divided by four, that gives us 1.5. So that tells us that all the lengths in this triangle are 1.5 times bigger than this triangle. And that allows us to find this x because we can just do three times it by 1.5, because it's 1.5 times bigger here, and that will give us x. So x must be three times 1.5, which is 4.5 centimeters. Now, an alternative way you could have done it is to sort of use an idea of ratio. So the number of times bigger this length is than this length is the same as the number of times bigger this length is than this length. So we could turn that into sort of like a, a fractional equation, like 3 over 4 is equal to x over 6. And then to solve that, well, I want to get x on its own. It's been divided by 6. So to get rid of the divide by 6, I times both sides by 6. And then I just get 3 quarters times 6 is equal to x, and that will give us the same result of uh, 4.5. You could have also generated another equation, say, by doing that divided by that is equal to that divided by that. So you could do 6 over 4 is equal to x divided by 3, which is effectively the same as what we did here. The advantage with this is that if you have algebraic sides, this method of forming fractions like that in an equation um, can be uh, easier. What about question two? Now, we do have similar triangles in this diagram again. It's actually more subtle because one of the triangles is actually embedded inside a larger triangle. And sometimes people find it helpful to draw these two triangles out separately. So this triangle here is similar to the whole triangle. And we know that because notice that this angle and this angle share the angle at the top. And also this angle is going to be equal to this angle because they're corresponding angles. And similarly, this angle is correspond to this one. So both this triangle and this triangle have the same angles. If they have the same angles, they're similar. So let's draw out the triangle separately, but you don't have to do it this way. So this is a top triangle with the eight and the 10 here. And if I draw the bigger triangle, the whole thing, we can see that at the bottom, we've got the 15 and this length here, this whole length of the bigger triangle is eight plus y. And we can do a similar thing to before. We can identify what the scale factor is. So the scale factor of length is going to be 15 divided by 10, which is 1.5. And then we can just say, well, to get from this length to this whole length, we can times the eight by 1.5. So if we do eight times 1.5, that gives us 12. But that 12 includes the 8, so we then have to do 12 minus 8, and that gives us 4 centimetres. So we can see that would be 8, and therefore, because that's 4, that whole length would be 12. And indeed, 8 times 1.5 does give you 12. And finally, question 3. Let's draw out the two triangles again. So we've got the top triangle, we've got x here and 12 at the bottom. And then you've got the bigger triangle where this length is x plus 2 and the bottom length is 15. Now if we use the scale factor method again rather than the sort of fractional equation method like we did here, we can see that the scale factor of length is equal to 15 divided by 12 and I'm just going to simplify that to 5 over 4. Now, we know that if we times that length x by 5 over 4, the scale factor, that gives us this length here of x plus 2. So let's write that. x 
times by five and four, I could just put that in the front, gives you this longer length here of x plus two. And that's an equation that we can solve. So we want to collect the x's on one side. So there's more x's on the left than the right, so we should collect all the x's on the left. So we need to get rid of that x by subtracting x from both sides. Now, 5 over 4x minus x, that's a quarter x, is equal to 2 because the x is now gone. And then to get rid of that quarter, we divide both sides by a quarter. That's the same as multiplying both sides by 4. And that just gives us x here, and we get a length of 8 centimetres here. So that's 8. And let's just check that. If that was 8, then if we times that by 5 or 4, or 1.25, that gives us 10. And that's right, because 8 plus 2 is indeed 10. So that method did work.